here, I'm gonna show you a tip for referencing values in tables, so columns or the headers or the totals row, etc. And this is called table structured references, and it can be kind of confusing, but there's a little trick to make it much, much easier. So first of all, go to where your data is, select everything, and then go to insert table or control T. And the very next thing is go to table design and go over here to the table name field and rename your table. I often like to put TBL in front of the name of the table and that makes the next step easier. So let's go to the next step right now, which is making our reference. Let's say that we want to do an average. We know that we want to do it on the quantity column, but maybe we don't remember how we actually type the name of that column. So we go for the average formula, and then we start typing the name of the table. If you forgot the name of it, it's very simple. We started it with TBL, so type TBL. And then you're going to get a list of all of the tables that begin with TBL click the name of the table or double click or hit tab. And there we have the name of the table. But how do we get the column references? Put an open bracket, an open square bracket, and we get a list of all of the columns. But not only the columns, the other references that we can make. So we have all down here. If I click that, it says returns the entire contents of the table or specified table columns, including column headers, data, and total rows and the same for these other options. So it tells you what it is. All that we want here is the quantity column. So let's go here, double click, and don't forget to close up the square bracket and hit enter. And there we have a nice, simple table structured reference and we didn't have to remember anything except for the TBL.